Florida PSM exam Q&A review. Question number 10. The call of the question states, anyone who willingly violates section of 472020001-2, disclosure of confidential information, commits what type of crime? When I read this question, my first real quizzical thought is, what the heck is confidential information? Are we disclosing like uh, national secrets? Are we disclosing the code to access the presidential nuclear football? Are we disclosing the Coca-Cola formula to make the syrup? I have no idea. And frankly, cynical me, I don't really care. The rule says X, and it even gives me the statute. I can go to 472020112, and I will find this answer sitting right there, I bet. This is an easy question. Why? Because there's no paging around, you know, your 500 pages of statutes. You've just been given the section. The only person who will get this question wrong is the one who did not adequately prepare their Florida statutes before exam day. This is a gimme. The answer choices are felony in the first degree, felony in the second degree, misdemeanor in the first degree, and misdemeanor in the second degree. Reading these answer choices, I find it hard to believe that you, a professional surveyor, are going to be charged with the felony. Because felonies are like murder, rape, theft, all kinds of really bad stuff. So again, I get the feeling that this is going to be a misdemeanor. But I'm going to go ahead and not even worry about that, I'm going to flip immediately to my section 472, the Professional Land Surveyor Statute, and I am going to read 472020112-2. And it says, Loving this video? Hit the subscribe button below. Be sure to click the bell next to it to get the latest prep videos before anybody else. Any person who willfully violates this section commits a misdemeanor of the first degree. Full stop. Don't bother reading the rest. Misdemeanor first degree is going to be answer choice C. Misdemeanor in the first degree. Select that one and, you know, just take a deep breath because sometimes the board will give you an easy question. You expect this exam to be tough, and it is, but There are tough questions, there are middle-of-the-road questions, and then there are just some like gotchas or gimmies, and the Florida board just gave you the easiest question I've seen in a long time. Take it, enjoy it, and keep on moving. Want even more content for the Florida PSM exam? Join me for a complete online prep course that includes videos, handouts, workbooks, practice questions, and a full-length practice exam. This course has everything you need to pass the Florida PSM exam on the first try. Join us at nlcprep.com PSM for more information.